Yo guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to dump Roblox. A lot of people told me that I need to do this, so um, I just did it. I, I wanted to do this so bad, so I did it. Now, first we're gonna go on here and type in CFF Explorer. You can also use Scylla, that I'm not advanced, so what you wanna do is you just wanna download it somewhere over here, CFF Explorer right here. I suggest you to download the front one from Cyber Techniques. You can find it if you go over here. Uh, Everything is over here. Just download the site. Just search up CFF Explorer. So what you want to do after that is uh, we're going to go open Roblox, okay? Now, first, you want to open CFF Explorer on a new window, okay? So you've got the extinctions and some DLLs. Now, we want to open Roblox. Go to Roblox, right-click it, click Open File Location. Now, make sure you don't reverse the player launcher. Otherwise, the shit won't work. Now, what you want to do is you want to hold this. And put it into, and you're gonna oh, you know, open it with common file format explorer. So once you do that, you're gonna get a message. It's gonna be saying this file is bigger than 40 uh, megabytes. Now you're gonna click in no because it's only gonna load in 40 MB of code. Now if you if you don't if you click yes, then it's not gonna show anything. It's, it's, you're just gonna screw up the process. But if you click in no, you're gonna fix the process. So click no. Now go to optional header right over here. Go down. Click uh, the all characteristics. The uh, the address is one AE. Click this. Go to deal. Can uncheck it. So make sure it's like that. And press this. Now you just did something. Wow, cool. Now you're gonna go to file and you're gonna save as. So we're gonna make a new exe dumped. Now when I go here, you can go to any directory. I like to go into documents. So I'm gonna name it Roblox Player Eleven Exe. So now. Make sure now it's, it should be saying uh, Roblox Player. It's gonna show the renamed uh, application. So now what you wanna do is you wanna open your handy dandy IDA. So let's open that. You can use any disassembler, but all right. So when you get the message, you're gonna press and disassemble disassemble a new file. You're gonna get the exe right here. Now double press it. Okay, now now you're gonna get a message right here. Now um, I suggest go here and press and load resources. Now we're gonna go click OK. So now we're gonna wait a few. Shit. Now what's gonna come segment is gonna do some it's gonna like apply some rebreaks and do lots of exporting and importing so this way and now you're gonna get the input file the PDV now click no if you click yes this will search your whole computer for the PDB now what the PDB does technically if you have the PDB you can see a lot of sub functions renamed it just helps you a lot with disassembling it doesn't show you the address it just shows you the string it's a really helpful but since we don't have this we're gonna have to press no you can't get your hands on it unless you work at Roblox I suggest you don't do this um, so Press no. We're not reversing Roblox. We're not gonna steal or leak their code. We're just doing this. Now you're gonna get. A, you're gonna you go this. Don't press in strings yet. What you wanna do is you wanna press in G on your keyboard, or you can go to jump to address, which you can do as well. Now go here and press jump to address and type in start. Now after you type in start, it's gonna lead you to this address with push six three zero zero six three three zero four eight zero each, and it's code AK assembly. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press in G. Oh, we already did that. You want to go here and you click in, uh, um, oh, actually, press right here and press F2, okay? Press F2. Now, after you press F2, you're going to go there and you're going to enable hardware. So, it's going to be unchecked. Check it, okay? Just check it. And when you press it, okay. After you do that, you want to go to your debug. Now, scroll up. Scroll a little bit. Right here. And you can see right here. This ring right thing. Go to local windows. Now, a lot of people have local windows 32. That's perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to go here. All right, we just launched it. Now it's gonna take some time. It, it's just uh, I have this shitty AVG thing. It's not shit, but you know, helps me. So now we're gonna wait a few hours. Now uh, we're gonna wait. It's not gonna open because it's a. It's gonna, I'm pretty sure it opens in Ida. I'm not sure. So now what you wanna do is that you want to pre go up, go up, go up, go to debuggers, and click tech memory s uh, snapshot. Now it's gonna take the memory snapshot, which is. Okay, so uh, technically what it does is like a memory profiler. It analyzes it, um, memory dump, you know, stuff like that. So we're going to press in here, load through segments. Now we're going to wait until this happens. And you're going to get a lot of messages. So, um, yeah, so there we go. So now what you do is you want to press the button F5 on your keyboard. Okay? Oh, okay, my fault. If you don't press F5. You're going to go up. You're gonna get this stop button. This kills the apple. It doesn't close it, but it closes, okay? Now, after you close it, we uh, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here, press in shift and F12 
at the same time. Or you can just go to view and then press strings, same thing. But I suggest you do the view and press strings so you don't have to restart and rescan the strings. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a really long time. Now depending on the computer, my computer takes up to 30 minutes to fully dump it, but to about partially dump it while you can also view it while it's dumping. I don't I suggest you don't do that. A lot of sub functions will load. So now we're gonna wait a few hours. Let's wait. Also, I'll tell you something, it should be saying analyze down there. I'm not gonna zoom in, but I'm gonna zoom in after. If you go down, it's gonna show a bunch of sub functions that are being read. So, uh, you now you're just gonna wait now, guys. Just wait. Now, usually, uh, the normal pro it's gonna show the string window in about three minutes, but in, tr to, in order to fully analyze it, it's probably gonna take about, I don't know, 30 minutes. I have 16 GB RAM PC. Uh, a normal double minder, if you have a gaming PC, it's probably gonna take up to like 10 minutes. If you have a shit PC, like Windows 7, it's probably gonna take up to three hours. Now we're gonna wait. Actually, I'm not gonna wait. Just guys, thanks for watching. That's how you dump Roblox. So you're gonna have to wait about like 30 minutes. I suggest you like do this overnight, or if you're like gone somewhere, just dump Roblox. Um, now, when you when you when you're gonna exit, make sure you press save to disk. And when you load it, make sure to press load saved. Don't create a new disassembly. Just load this, uh, load the old one because if you do, then you're gonna have to re uh, redo the shit again. You don't wanna be a bitch and do it. Okay. So now we're gonna re uh, we're just gonna wait now, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.